everyone, welcome to the Markets at Close update from Nirmal Banga. I'm Hiral Dadia. Overall, markets extended losses and ended in the red. And clearly, if you see the session throughout the day today, a pretty flattish move is what we had seen. We guided between uh, gains and losses. But in the end, Sensex ended with cuts of almost 150 points as well as Nifty ended below that 12,100 mark. Uh, clearly, we've given up that 12,100 mark, which has been a psychological level on Nifty 50 after that 12,000 mark. So even this level has been given up in trade today. Uh, moving away from there, if you go to see uh, in terms of broader markets as well, uh, clearly we've outperformed the benchmark indices in trade and in fact we ended higher on the BSE mid cap and small cap index and this is clearly indicating that yes, that interest in the broader markets is coming back and it's mainly the benchmarks which are seeing that lackluster movement. Uh, in terms of sectors, Heavy selling was seen in real estate, energy as well as FMCG and these were the major sectors that actually dragged Nifty 50 and the benchmark indices lower. Whereas you had Nifty PSU Bank Index which was the best performer, Metals Telecom and Bankex also ended in the green. Auto has been you know in focus as well uh, because the passenger vehicle retail sales that data has come in for the month of January that has fallen by almost 5% and this is on the back of the tepid response that's what we have been picking up from FADA and that's something which could continue to have a negative impact on the auto space as a whole. Let's quickly see the stock specific action as well. You had companies like Indescent Bank, Tata Steel, SBIZ Entertainment that were the top gainers. In fact, ONGC also saw a good deal of trade on the way crude has panned out uh, because all yesterday's session ONGC was one of the top losers. It's turned into one of the top gainers today on the up move that we've seen uh, in oil prices. On the losing end, you had Sipla, Asian Paint, HUL, Nestle. In fact, IOC also was one of the top losers from Nifty 50 and from the OMCs. You had HPCL, BPC also. That saw some bit of selling pressure on higher crude prices. Uh, on the broader markets, you had India Bulls Housing, Max Financial, Trident, Ajanta Pharma, Avanti Feeds. These were the top gainers on BSE 500. Whereas you had Oil India, Hathaway Cable, Escorts, uh, Castrol India, Heritage Food, these were few of the top losers on BSE 500. Let's understand which were few of the stocks that were trading at a 52 week high in today's day. Bajaj Finance, Dr. Reddy's from the large cap space, Adani Enterprises, Alembic Pharma, Apollo Hospital, these counters hit a 52 week high in trade. Whereas you had DB Corp, Future Consumer, and from the real estate space, uh, you had Soba and Gayatri projects again from the infra space that hit a 52 week low in trade. So these have been a few of the counters that we've highlighted. Let's quickly look at the movers and shakers. In fact, these were the highlights uh, from the broader markets. Thomas Cook, that stock ended higher. In fact, it opened gap up only and this was on the back of the consideration of buyback, which is uh, scheduled on the 26th of February. Uh, Muthut Finance also ended higher and this is on the back of the fresh longs that we've seen on the counter as well as if you see the kind of volumes that Muthut Finance has given in has been pretty strong. Escorts fell the most in almost over two months so there was negative news there. Max Financial surged in intraday trade to end higher. Uh, from the PSU space you had MSTC, Mishudhatu Nigam, IRCTC all these counters actually hit fresh new highs and they surged little over 20 to 25 percent over the week. Uh, moving away from that, if you talk about Muthut Finance, we've already spoken, uh, it's overtaken PNB as well as AU Small Finance Bank in terms of market cap. So that's an interesting fact that we are picking up. Sterlite Tech also jumped in trade on the back of a fresh auto win worth almost 1500 odd crores. And Vodafone Idea extended gains for a second straight day. In fact, if you see from Tuesday lows, that stock is up almost around 65 uh, to 66%. But clearly, if you see... Uh, that bullishness that we had seen, that did not really sustain in today's day of trade. In fact, we opened gap down and that has continued, gyrations have continued and it was pretty much anticipated that yes, you would see profit booking in today's day of trade ahead of the truncated week because uh, tomorrow is a holiday. It is Mahashivratri, so it's going to be an extended holiday in terms of the Indian markets. So that's one of the reasons why the last hour of trade actually saw this kind of selling pressure. But now global queues over the weekend are going to be important. How global markets pan out actually will give us some bit of direction in terms of Monday's session. In fact, that's all that we have in the post-market update. To get more news and updates, please follow us uh, on our YouTube channel as well as follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.